25 Best African Economies 2022 Africa is home to several of the world's poorest countries. Numerous African economies are in disarray, poverty is pervasive, the invasion of Ukraine exacerbates the problems impeding regional recovery. Despite the fact that direct trade and financial ties with Russia and Ukraine are limited, the war is likely to have an impact on sub-Saharan African economies through higher commodity prices, higher food, fuel, and headline inflation, tightening of global financial conditions, and reduced foreign financing flows into the region. The region's growth effects are predicted to be modest. Instead, the greatest impact will be on the increased probability of civil strife as a result of food and energy-fueled inflation in an environment of increased political instability. Emerging signals of stagflation are providing challenges to monetary policymakers as a result of supply disruptions preceding the Ukraine war. Central banks must choose between supporting the sluggish economy at the risk of worsening inflationary prospects and battling inflation at the high cost of initiating a recession. So far, many central banks in the region have chosen the second policy option and begun a tightening cycle, while others have remained more dovish. Since October 2021, African countries, particularly those in sub-Saharan Africa, have been classified as being at moderate or high risk of debt distress, with the proportion of countries in high danger of debt distress increasing from 52.6 to 60.5%. Some are taking steps to address the mounting dangers of debt sustainability. Some countries in the region imposed austerity measures, but these were insufficient to cut debt levels. Furthermore, many African countries, like Cameroon, Chad, Nigeria, and Somalia, are at war with either terrorist insurgencies or with one another, putting further burden on their economies. Despite these problems, Africa's 54 countries have among of the world's fastest-growing economies. Africa is a varied continent with human and natural resources capable of generating equitable prosperity and eradicating poverty in the region. With the world's largest free trade zone and a market of 1.2 billion people, the continent is charting a completely new course, capitalizing on the potential of its resources and people. The African economy is anticipated to exceed $29 trillion in GDP by 2050, fueled by agriculture, trade, and natural resources. With 20 million new job seekers in sub-Saharan Africa alone each year, the region has an eager and increasing workforce. Africans are also catching up with the rest of the world in terms of technology. Every day, more than 90,000 citizens of sub-Saharan Africa connect to the internet for the first time. Africa may be the least developed of the major continents. Even its richest countries trail far behind the world's wealthiest, but its potential is tremendous and clear. In today's video, we'll take a look at the top 25 African economies in terms of GDP per capita. While there are multiple ways to compare various nations' wealth, one of the most effective is to calculate each country's GDP per capita. GDP is a very valuable indicator, but it is also pretty wide. For example, it ignores the number of citizens contributing to a country's GDP, which means that a country with a large but inefficient workforce can have a larger GDP than a country with a smaller but more efficient workforce. Economists frequently use GDP per capita to get a more granular look at this and other factors. GDP per capita divides gross domestic product by the number of people in the country. The International Monetary Fund data is used to calculate GDP per capita. This data should give you a good indication of the relative economic stability and affluence of these countries. That is why we will rank them as the best African economies. Welcome to Thinkrich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe that entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Twenty-five, Comoros, $3,020 GDP per capita. 
Comoros is a sovereign archipelago country in the Indian Ocean between Madagascar and Mozambique. In terms of land area, Comoros is the third smallest African country. Comoros is one of the world's least populous countries, but it also has one of the highest population densities. There are approximately 275 individuals per square kilometer, on average, 710 people per square mile. The Comoros economy is built on subsistence farming and fishing. Although the quality of the ground varies each island, most of the common lava-encrusted soil formations are unsuitable for agriculture. As a result, the majority of the residents rely on subsistence agriculture and fishing for a living. 24. Zambia $3, $3,320 GDP per capita Zambia is a huge, landlocked, resource-rich country in the heart of southern Africa with sparsely populated area. It has a border with eight nations, Angola, Botswana, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Tanzania, and Zimbabwe, which provide a larger market for its goods. Zambia's principal exports include copper and cobalt, although non-traditional exports include cotton, coffee, fresh flowers, burly tobacco, gemstones, and maize, corn, among others. Under the African Growth and Opportunity Act, Zambia is also entitled to export duty-free items to the United States, AGOA. According to the most recent United Nations data, Zambia's current population is 20,044,405 people. Zambia's GDP per capita was $32.9863 US dollars in 2021, after being adjusted by purchasing power parity. The Zambian economy recovered in 2021, with GDP increasing by 4.6%, following a 2.8% drop during the epidemic in 2020. Its rebound was fueled by strong copper prices, post-election market confidence, and agricultural recovery. In the first half of 2022, economic activity remained robust. 23. Benin GDP per capita, $3,000. $570. Benin, originally known as Dahomey, is a West African country bordered by Niger, Burkina Faso, Nigeria, and Togo. Benin is a democratically stable country. Benin has one of West Africa's lowest unemployment rates. Benin had a population of 12.45 million people in 2021. Palm products and cocoa beans are also produced. For local subsistence, maize, corn, beans, rice, peanuts, cashews, pineapples, cassava, yams, and other tubers are farmed. The private commercial and agricultural sectors continue to be the primary drivers of growth. In 2021, the GDP is expected to grow at a 6.6% .6 annual rate. The services and construction industries were the primary drivers of this rise. 22. Senegal GDP per capita, $3,620. Senegal is a West African country bounded to the north by Mauritania, to the east by Mali, to the southeast by Guinea, and to the southwest by Guinea-Bissau. Senegal features a mixed economic system in which the state plays a significant role in the economy, but private sector independence is limited. Mining, construction, tourism, fishing, and agriculture are the principal sources of employment in Senegal's rural areas. Phosphate mining, fertilizer manufacture, agricultural products, and commercial fishing are among Senegal's primary export businesses, and the government is also embarking on oil exploration projects. It is heavily reliant on donor aid, remittances, and foreign direct investment. Senegal achieved a 7% growth rate in 2017, thanks in part to good agricultural performance despite irregular rainfall. 21. Cameroon, GDP per capita, $3,740. Cameroon's GDP per capita was $36.90, US dollars in 2021 when adjusted for purchasing power parity. Cameroon's economy was one of the most prosperous in Africa for a quarter century after independence. 
The mid-1980s collapse in commodity prices for its main exports, petroleum, cocoa, coffee, and cotton, combined with an overvalued currency and economic mismanagement, resulted in a decade-long crisis. Between 1984 and 1994, real per capita GDP decreased by more than 60%. The current account and fiscal deficits increased, as did foreign debt. Nonetheless, Cameroon has one of the best endowed primary commodity economies in sub-Saharan Africa due to its oil deposits and ideal agricultural circumstances. 20. Sao Tom and Principe GDP per capita, $3,930. With a land area of 960 square kilometers, this little country in the Gulf of Guinea is heavily reliant on agriculture, which employs more than half of its working population. Sao Tom and Principe is a major exporter of bananas, palm oil, and cocoa beans, as well as natural rubber, copra, and coffee. The country's economy has been harmed by a fall in its agricultural industry as a result of low soil fertility induced by excessive rain, which reduces crop yield. Another issue influencing the economy of Sao Tom and Principe is the country's reliance on international food imports. Economic reliance on other countries that utilize Sao Tom and Principe as a refueling station, as well as fluctuations in oil prices, have an impact on their gasoline supplies. 19. Sudan GDP per capita, $4,080. Sudan is well known for the variety of natural resources it possesses, including petroleum and minerals, which account for more than 80% of its exports. Sudan, in addition to being Africa's greatest oil producer, is located in the world's fifth largest oil producing region, known as the Gulf of Guinea. Cotton, livestock, wheat, gold, and agricultural resources are also important to Sudan's economy employing more than 40% of the country's working population. Despite its natural resource wealth, Sudan has been enduring an economic downturn as a result of political conflicts and civil wars. 18. Republic of the Congo GDP per capita, $4,170. The low-income economy of the Democratic Republic of the Congo relies on natural resources to furnish the majority of its exports while also producing funds for social services and infrastructure. However, due to poor management and corruption, the country has seen a major downturn in most economic areas. Natural resources like as cobalt, copper, niobium, industrial and gem diamonds, gold, silver, zinc, manganese ore, uranium, and petroleum are abundant in the DRC, accounting for at least 70% of total exports. The mining industry has been deteriorating due to high levels of corruption and political instability caused by militias and criminal gangs. 17. Kenya GDP per capita, $5,270. Kenya's economy is mostly based on agriculture, which benefits from its excellent land and good climate, allowing it to produce coffee, tea, sugarcane, maize, potatoes, and animals. Cut flowers are one of Kenya's key agricultural exports, accounting for roughly one-fourth of the country's overall exports. Kenya's service sector is expanding as a result of rising tourism, which brings in more wealth. Kenya's economy also benefits its manufacturing sector by exporting items such as processed food, cement, chemicals, and steel. Despite being an economic powerhouse in East Africa, recent political events have created an unstable economy, resulting to inflation rates of up to 10%. In addition to the foregoing, Kenya has had catastrophic weather conditions that have harmed its agricultural business, resulting in food shortages and inflation rates to increase exponentially. 16. Nigeria GDP per capita, $5,280. Nigeria's economy is the largest in Africa, with a population of 206.1 million people and a land area of 910,770 kilometer. 
It has approximately $500 billion in natural resources and relies heavily on its petroleum industry, which accounts for roughly 20% of its GDP. Nigeria's economy has grown at a 6% yearly rate during the last decade. This expansion is due to the development of its infrastructure, which has led to the development of other industries, such as telecommunications and power. Corruption has harmed Manchuria's economy, causing inflation to reach 10%. Furthermore, Manchuria has a growing population that necessitates more resources, resulting in deforestation and contamination of its soil, air, and water 15. Djibouti GDP per capita, $7,020. Djibouti, with a population of 872,000, has a tiny economy built on service activities related to the country's strategic location and free trade zone status. The country primarily serves as a port of call for other East African countries, and it is regarded as one of the region's major trading partners. Because the country has one of Africa's highest military expenditures, the majority of its income comes from foreign aid, despite the fact that its economy has risen dramatically since 1995. Djibouti also hosts over 100,000 Somali refugees fleeing their civil war, causing the government to rely on foreign aid for more than 60% of its overall spending. 14. Ivory Coast GDP per capita, $7,100. The Ivory Coast's economy is mostly based on agriculture, which accounts for more than half of its GDP. Cocoa beans, petroleum products, and palm oil are the principal exports. Ivory Coast, like other African countries, relies on international aid to help its economy recover from civil wars. The country's expanding economy is expected to increase by 8.2% in 2015, with inflation hovering around 10%. Since the early 2000s, the Ivory Coast's economic growth has slowed due to poor infrastructure, which has hampered international investment. 13. Ghana GDP per capita, $7,210 Ghana's economy is primarily based on the production and export of gold and cocoa, which account for more than half of overall exports. The country's small manufacturing economy produces necessities like cigarettes and food items like canned fish and processed meat. Ghana's economy is market-based, which welcomes international investment. Ghana's economic growth has slowed since the early 2000s, since the country spent much of its resources on development projects, causing inflation to reach 10%. 14. Angola GDP per capita, $7,790. Angola is one of Africa's top oil producers due to its enormous mineral resources, which are vital to the country's economy. Angola's principal exports include diamonds, petroleum products, and cocoa. Angola's economy is primarily based on oil extraction, agriculture, construction, and manufacturing, which contribute for over 70% of GDP. The majority of Angolans work in agriculture, which accounts for over 40% of the country's GDP. Despite being one of Africa's greatest oil producers, Angola nevertheless struggles to meet its fundamental necessities. 11. Morocco GDP per capita, $8,030. Morocco has one of the best economies in Africa, owing to its diverse economy, which is driven by agricultural mining and manufacturing exports. Morocco has a huge impact on African affairs due to its proximity to Europe, particularly Spain. Crude oil contributes for around 60% of Moroccan energy production, with additional sources supplied from Algeria, France, and Russia. The country is reliant on phosphate production, which accounts for more over 40% of its exports. Morocco's economy is mostly based on agriculture and tourism, which account for over 20% of GDP, and employed 36% and 10.2% of the workforce, respectively, in 2014. 10. Namibia GDP per capita, $9,730.
Namibia is one of the richest countries in Africa, with a population of over 2 million people and a total area of 824,292 km square. Namibia's economy is primarily based on mining, agriculture, manufacturing, and tourism, which account for more than half of the country's GDP. Mining accounts for approximately 30% of GDP, whereas agriculture accounts for approximately 12%. Namibian agriculture is primarily concerned with the production of beef, lamb, and mutton, as well as dairy products, tobacco, and barley. Namibia's economy is stable, with a constant growth rate of more than 4%, contributing to the country's high GDP per capita. 9. Tunisia, GDP per capita, $10,590. Despite its tiny population of roughly 12 million people, Tunisia has a tremendous influence on African affairs. It has one of the most valuable currencies in Africa. Clothing and textiles, chemicals, semi-finished items, electrical equipment, and transportation equipment are the most common Tunisian exports. The aridity of the Saharan Desert limits Tunisia's land resources. Tunisia, on the other hand, has high human resource potential, making it appealing to foreign investors, such as Germany and Italy. Tunisia's economy is mostly based on tourism, manufacturing, and mining, which account for approximately 15% of GDP. Tunisia's economy has thrived as a result of its economic policies, which have effectively produced a stable financial environment that encourages foreign investment. Tunisia relied less on foreign aid in 2014, reducing it to $183 million from previous years close to $700 million. 8. Algeria, GDP per capita, $11,430. Algeria is one of Africa's wealthiest countries. Despite its relatively modest population of roughly 44.9 million people, Algeria has a substantial influence in African affairs, placing 34th. Algeria's economy is primarily based on hydrocarbons and industry, which account for over 60% of GDP. Hydrocarbons provide for almost 95% of exports and 75% of government revenue. In 2014, manufacturing contributed less than one-third of GDP and employed approximately 16% of the workforce. 7. South Africa, GDP per capita, $12,440. South Africa's economy is primarily based on transportation equipment, processed minerals, chemicals, textiles, and food items, which account for over half of its GDP. The industrial sector accounts for approximately 35% of GDP, and minerals, primarily gold, diamonds, and coal, contribute for 90% of exports. The country possesses a lot of resources, such as iron ore and chrome, which makes it one of the wealthiest countries in Africa. However, these resources have not been exploited efficiently, and the economy is still in upheaval. Nonetheless, the economy is performing well, with an annual GDP growth rate of 3%, one of the highest in Africa. Agriculture accounts for around 7% of GDP and employs 22.8% of the workforce in 2014. South African mines produce a wide range of minerals, including gold, diamonds, coal, vanadium, manganese, iron ore, copper, and tin, which account for more than half of South Africa's exports and 4% of global mineral and metal commerce. However, the South African economy faces significant hurdles, including rapid population expansion, increased poverty, and unemployment. 6. Egypt, GDP per capita, $13,080. Egypt is one of Africa's top 25 richest countries per capita, with a population of over 102 million and a land area of 995,450 km square. It also has a strong African currency. Egypt ranks six in terms of GDP per capita, despite having the greatest total GDP of any African nation. Egypt has a long ancient history that goes back a very long way. 
Egypt has become one of the five most populated nations in Africa as a result of this, which is usually regarded as the origin of human civilization. Agriculture, media production, construction, tourism, and transportation make up the majority of Egypt's economy. A little over half of Egyptians work in agriculture. However, just 23% of the GDP is generated by the country's agricultural industry. Just 16% of GDP is derived from agriculture, which also provides jobs for 25% of the workforce. 5. Madagascar GDP per capita $13,720 Madagascar is an island country in the Indian Ocean. Off the coast of East Africa, with a surface area of 581,795 km square and a population of about 28.7 million. One of the 20 richest countries in Africa per capita, as well as one of Africa's poorest nations. Agriculture is the main driver of Madagascar's economy, contributing around 40% of its GDP. It is one of the world's most biodiverse nations, home to almost 5,000 plants, 89 different primates, 350 different bird species, and 60 different mammal species that are unique only to that country. But many of Madagascar's natural resources are being used by foreign nations without the payment of royalty or revenue sharing. 4. Gabon GDP per capita $16,240. Gabon is a country in Central Africa that borders Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon, the Republic of the Congo, and the Gulf of Guinea on its western shore. It ranks in the top 20 richest nations in Africa by per capita income. Gabon is one of the richest nations in Africa due to its abundance of natural resources, which include oil, lumber, manganese mining, and uranium ore. The country's oil production has been reduced by half as a result of the terrible economic crisis Gabon is currently experiencing. Inflation is high in Gabon, since the GDP growth rate is low, it is currently 2.7%. 5. Botswana GDP per capita $18,110 Botswana is a country in southern Africa that is landlocked. It is one of the continent's wealthiest countries in terms of per capita income. Botswana's economy has traditionally been centered on animal husbandry, and it has seen various transformations over the years. Botswana's economy has benefited substantially from diamond and meat exports. Botswana is one of Africa's top diamond producers, with the third largest dollar value share among African nations after South Africa and Angola. Diamonds make for approximately half of the country's exports. Mining accounts for around 12% of GDP, with diamonds accounting for 80%. In Botswana, one out of every four homes has at least one diamond ring, earring, or pendant. However, the diamond market has become overcrowded over the previous decade, resulting in a catastrophic economic collapse and political unrest. However, in recent years, mining corporations have begun to diversify into other industries, like as copper and nickel, to assist maintain the economy. 2. Mauritius GDP per capita $22,030 Mauritius is an island republic off the coast of Africa in the Indian Ocean, with a population of approximately 1.3 million people and a land area of 20-30 km square. It is one of Africa's poorest countries in terms of GDP per capita. Mauritius' economy was established on sugarcane plantations, but it has since diversified into textiles, tourism, and banking. Other African countries, France and the United Kingdom, account for 80% of its visitors. The government is increasing public debt in order to compete with its neighbor. 1. Seychelles GDP per capita $26,120 Seychelles is a small island in the Indian Ocean off the coast of East Africa with a population of 99,045 people and a land area of 460 km square. 
Seychelles has an exceptional GDP per capita, owing primarily to its thriving tourism business, which contributes significantly to the country's GDP. The Seychelles economy is mostly based on fishing, tourism, boat construction, coconut and vanilla processing, and agriculture, particularly cinnamon, sweet potatoes, tuna, and bananas. Tourism contributes around 40% of national GDP and 70% of foreign currency profits. This year has been a major turning point for Africa, as the continent emerges from the pandemic and strives for long-term economic recovery while benefiting from growing global competitiveness and new funding options. African markets will continue to provide exciting new opportunities for investors and trade partners. Nonetheless, understanding and managing political risk will be critical to future success. Likewise, Africa would be a better place if African nations utilized their natural resources to better themselves and establish a more stable economy to support their populations. Thank you for your time. If you have any tips that you think should be included in this video, please leave a comment and let us know. Help us grow our channel. We hope you found this video helpful. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on notifications.